Hello all and welcome to another Kevin Entertainment video. It's Art here with the review, with the book review for The Mark of Zorro by Johnston McCauley. It's the first Zorro book. Here it is right here. Um, this book is classic pulp fiction of the 1920s. Because you have to remember this book was written in the 1920s. It's a good book. Um... I'm going to read an excerpt from the back of the book um, to kind of encapsulate what I mean by this. This lighthearted tale of the masked hero of old California unfolds as a suspenseful romp across Los Angeles of the 1820s, loaded with notable characters and colorful adventures recounted in direct and humble prose. The Pulp Adventure offers a winning balance of action, comedy, and romance. I cannot have said it any better myself. It's comedic. It's romantic in the classic sense. Where a dashing young man, Zorro, um, sweeps a lady off her feet by doing dashing things. Classic things like kissing on the hand, um, things that n nowadays would be um, are still considered romantic, but in some circles would be weird. It is comedic, it is classic pulp fiction, it is vibrant, it is written well, and it stands the test of time. It is not a very long book. It's 278 pages, I think. It's 285 pages. 285 pages, not very long, uh, especially for this for this day and age's books that we all read, but it is good for a one or two sitting book. It is everything you would expect from a Zorro book, having only seen a movie or a show. It is classic machismo and classic ro romance wrapped into one. It is swashbuckling. It is honorable. Like the men and women, the characters in these in this book carry themselves with an honor only seen in Pulp Fiction. Uh, because it's that classic gentleman, gentlemanly and lady ladylike honor. It is a top-notch book that is a comedic read. It will have you on the edge of your seat. It's a very visual and vibrant book. Johnston McCauley does a wonderful job in describing the scenery, the setting, and the action. He's a descriptive master when it comes to describing what's going on and the lay of the land and the expertise of Zorro and the bumbling. It is idiocy of one Sergeant Gonzalez, which is um, Zorro's main foe in the book, who boasts that he could take Zorro at any point, but every time that he tries to take Zorro, Zorro makes a laughing stock out of him. Every time he confronts Zorro, Zorro has a very comedic moment with him at Sergeant Gonzalez's expense, which is a lot like the 1990s uh, Disney TV series that I remember and the 1950s Disney TV series that I remember. So you can tell that those series pulled closely from this book series, which is wonderful to see. Is this book for everybody? Well, I think it's not a deep, dissectable read. I mean, it is for somebody like me that that enjoys the character Zorro and has taken deep dives down the rabbit hole that is Zorro anyway, or down the foxhole, if you will. Um, 
but at the same time, it could very much be an easy palate cleanser of a book after reading a heavy book because it's going to give you pure romantic feels, comedy feels, swashbuckling, action adventure. It's it, it literally has everything. This I can see why it gets made into a blockbuster movie every now and then the Zora franchise does because they are blockbuster uh this is blockbuster worthy because it has every bit of every ingredient. It's it's not going to wow you. If it was a cake, it's not the best cake you have ever had, but it's a pretty damn good cake. And this book is fun. It'll be something that I go back to every now and then to read. I love this beautiful edition. You can find this edition on Amazon itself. If I remember, I'll try to leave a link to it down in the description. If not, just search the Mark of Zorro. It is the first result, result um, on Amazon. So it is the first physical result on Amazon. And it was published in twenty in early 2022, I want to say. Let me make sure that that's right. Yep. Yep. Mar March 29, 2022 is when this was published. As it, as the 100th anniversary of the book series is upon us this year. So, would I recommend it to... I'd recommend this to everybody. It's even good for young kids to read because it's kind of like that Batman-esque, Lone Ranger, Zorro-esque. And I know it's the Mark of Zorro, so it should be Zorro-esque. But it's, it's kind of that superhero vigilante vibe that kids like. It's good for adults, for a light comedic palate cleanser. It's good for everybody. It's fun for the whole family. This is a good book for the whole family to read. It's not very graphic in the physical sense of of the um, violence and it's not graphic in the sexual sense either. It's very respectable on both ends of the spectrum which I enjoyed very much because um, and it's definitely a product of the time so some of the language is is time period based and some of the language is just old because the book is now a hundred years old so there you go with that. With that said, what would I give it on, on the Goodreads scale? Well, on my own scale, it's a read and own it, love it, as you can see. Because I do own it, I do love it, and I will probably every now and then reread it. And on my on the Goodreads scale, it is a very pulpy, fun, action-y... Uh, I'm going to say 5 out of 5. It's not... It's not your, like, top-notch book, but it's, it, it's 5 out of 5 because it's got comedy. It's got everything you want in a really, really good book. The only thing that keeps it from being a superbly amazing book, which I did give it a 5 out of 5, but not, not all 5 out of 5s are cracked up to, to be the same. The only thing is that the language in here... And the, and the words used in here are a bit dated because it's, like I said, over 100 years, years old. But it's amazing, it's great, and everyone should give it a try if if you feel like it. Because, like I said, it's a great switch up the pace, light-hearted read that will take you maybe one, two sittings. It took me two and a half because I was just like, let's just slow down and enjoy this a little bit. Um... But it will not take long. It's only 285 pages in this format. And the good news is it's relatively cheap because it just got reprinted. So that is my thoughts on that. With that said, this is where I say, leave in the comments down below what you think of The Mark of Zorro. If you've read or if you've read any of the other Zorro books. Or if you can recommend a book like the Mark of Zorro that I described that's fun, 
pulpy and a good palette cleansing book leave that all in the comments down below but until next time you know i make videos every monday wednesday and saturday at 12 30 p.m central 10 30 a.m pacific 1 30 p.m eastern please like comment subscribe if you want to see more please ding the ding the notification bell to be notified when i upload a video and until next time happy reading i'll see you again soon and peace Thank you.